The flank game focuses on aspects of the power play, offensive zone play, as well as defensive coverage away from the puck. The game begins with two active players from each team in the middle and two flanking outlet players for each team outside the faceoff circles. The flank players can move from the goal line to the top of the circles as outlets. Flank players have the option to either pass or shoot, but must advance the puck quickly. This is another game where transition happens fast. Here White wins the puck battle and transitions to their flank player creating a 3 on 0 scoring chance. Blue recovers the puck and also transitions to offense quickly. This is a great example of a good first pass elevating the speed of attack. Notice White is in good defensive position, but fast puck movement is difficult to defend. Next, White regains puck possession and Blue does a great job of pursuing the puck, stick on stick. White again attacks with speed, putting pressure on Blue to defend. Blue begins with good defensive side position, but White makes a flank-to-flank -flank play, solidifying a 4-on-2 power play situation. Here the offensive zone triangle develops, giving White several great options. Notice the low white player beats his man back to the net, putting pressure on the goaltender. Blue collects the rebound and immediately headmans the puck. He puts additional pressure on the opponent with middle lane drive, opening up a passing lane for the next layer of attack. Blue hunts down the loose puck and moves it to his flank player. White gets caught puck staring with two players covering the same man and as a result gets beat for a goal against. Let's watch this same 25 second sequence again.